Good morning, my friends, and welcome back to the next episode of The Talos Principle. Last time out, we were in the middle of this world. Seven, I believe we're in. Uh, I would actually need to check. <laughs> Um, we got one red L, and we're going to continue along here. We've got three more shapes to find, two stars to find. Did we already look at these? Yes, indeed, we have already looked at that. Let's take a shape first. A fan across forever. Collector and a fan. Fine. Well, that's strange. Is that something that we're supposed to be able to jump on? Jump over? Ah, looks very much like there is a going to be a set of steps down the other side of that, doesn't there? kind of expecting us to be able to go through there, but no, there's a wall. Unexpected wall. Oh, and that set of stairs does not lead here. It leads through there. Ooh, okay. Well, we can take the box, and we put the box on here, and we can stick the jammer down there. And that's going to let us get on... Whoops! not a platformer, it does let you un... you know, no skill check required on the jump, you've just got to stand in the correct spot. Uh, right, we're going to need that box next. <laughs> yes, very good. So we can get in there, we, 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 can, we can place that down probably on there. How are we bringing a red laser back here though? That's kind of interesting, isn't it? And that is very much not in line with this wall, so... Oh, tell you what though. Uh, yeah, sure. We pop, pop the prism down there, we just take a jammer with us. Always underestimate the power of the jammers. The jammers is what catapults you to the victory, right? So drop that down there. Right, that is everything from over there, sorted. with a box. So that means we've got a star. We have a star uh, in the vicinity, right? Because what is the point of putting a box after you have completed the puzzle? Do you know what though? We should have been noting down where we found stars earlier on. 
Because every, basically every level has stars, so where we've kind of made some progress in working towards a star... Basically, almost certainly, right? We need the prism either to open up this red one or to open up that blue one. Okay, right, let's, let's break this down backwards, right? Break this down backwards. We need absolutely... to bring either the prism or the jammer to this point, right? And we only have one prism. We've got plenty of blocks. Plenty of blocks. The jammer can only jam one thing. This is where prism could be, and it is sort of notable that the prism or the jammer could hit that, um, hit that one from this block. So you, you could stick the jammer on top of here to jam that one. But then how are you getting through? Tricky one, tricky one. Hey, look, it's the step pyramid. I didn't even notice that before. I think it's pretty notable that the height of that wall means you can jam it from on top of this block. The fact that you've been given two blocks makes me think that you're supposed to be putting something on top of this block. Wait. 
Oh, sorry. Yeah, no, I'm just like, what? What am I doing? What am I doing? Like, the answer is obvious. You bring the prism in. Oh my word. Come on, get your head in the game. <laughs> right. That gets us that prism. Cool. And that should be enough to, if I stick this, like, here, for example, yeah, this can see the top of that block. So now I'm going to take you back, open that up, and what this is going to do is we're going to go... Uh, doesn't actually even need to do that one, but, you know. Uh, you, you, and you. There you go. So that's all open. So that doesn't even need to jam that anymore, because it needs to jam that instead. So what's the extra block for? What is the extra block for? Hmm. Something to think about. <laughs> okay, next, how about a yellow square? Oh, recording, first of all, though. How do you solve a problem that extends beyond your own lifespan? That question may be the essence of civilization. The only answer I can find is to initiate a process, to create an environment in which the solution will occur independently of yourself. But that requires a difficult sacrifice. Hmm. Letting go of your desire to bear witness, to exist at the center of the cosmos, to participate in the project of civilization is to accept death. Oh, Alex, you're such a fun person. Wow, bleak. But, interesting insight, right? Because that is very, very similar to what you should be trying to achieve as a manager of a team, right? This is one thing that my mentor told me, is that a good a good test for how effective you are is how well things continue without you when you're not there. Right? Creating an environment where success happens. Have a think about that. Okay, big lump of mine. Big lump of mine, how are these moving? a lot of them around. That's weird, they're moving very strangely, aren't they? So those two are just moving back and forth. Though that one's staying stationary, that one's moving in and out. Well, here's the thing, I can up here. And we could trap that L moving one, couldn't we? Certainly try to. So that one's moving in an L shape. You come this way, yeah. Or actually, no, I'm going to ride on top of you. That's a much more sensible idea, because I don't think you can blow up if I'm standing on top of you, can you? Because <gasps> then I just ride that one over to there. Yeah, look, there's literally a spot that you can... There's literally a spot for you to dismount. <laughs> Alright, cool. And I 
I'll take that back because I need. Oh no. Okay, fine. I need I need both of the boxes back, lads. <laughs> so come back. I need that. <laughs> this is a funny puzzle. This is genuinely quite funny. Okay, you go there. <laughs> and I need that one. Thank you. Bonk, bonk. Okay, last puzzle piece for this world. It's over here. Uh, it's the last yellow that we need to get the um, to get the next ability. Question: Suppose, for sake of argument, all this is without purpose. The universe is a machine switched on and abandoned long ago. How would I explain what I see? Perhaps you are asking the wrong question. Perhaps you would have no hope of explaining that. Maybe not on my own. Ah, uh -uh. depends if the machine is iterative and what problem it was built to solve. If you're trying to outsmart the guy in the archive, the answer is none of the above. Oh, and we have another recording. On the first night, when I knew it was over, I went out to look at the stars. And I thought, somewhere up there are the stations we built, and the probes we sent out. Voyager 1 and 2, beyond the edge of our solar system, continuing their long journey through interstellar space. Like memories of our ambition. Ambassadors who have outlived their homeland. And then I thought, if they still exist, are we really gone? If machines are an extension of the human body, then so long as they continue to function, we're still here. A uh, bit of a stretch, but okay. Bouncing side by side is our next puzzle. So what have we got? There's our piece. Aha! We have a star. One of them in here. <laughs> oh no. Okay, go on then. Let me reset that. Beep, 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 beep. I mean, it's not technically a soft lock, but like, I think it'd be faster just to reset. Uh, so, I think what we want to do then. That'll do it. That'll do it. So we need to get a red laser out to get that one. I propose that we start actually making some notes. 
I'm gonna make a little note of that off on my other screen for now though. Let's unlock that ability. That is World 7 complete. Now. Oh, that ability must be in World C. Because we don't we don't have a thing to unlock here. So okay. We've done pretty well here. I tell you what though, we are missing from World 3, a T-shaped piece to be able to get us up to the next level in the um, tower. So maybe let's go and have a big sneaky backtrack. When you overcome one of my trials, do you not feel the pleasure of having discovered the proper order of things? That is the spark of Elohim within you, to create order from chaos. And therein is revealed the true meaning of our sigils. Interesting. So, this is the first time we're actually backtracking to a puzzle we could not solve before. So settle in, because this is unlikely to be a quick one. But we've got this here. Take that fan, put that fan here, and that blows block out of the way. Interestingly enough, there's a ladder in there, should you happen to have got in there accidentally, somehow. Okay, what we are trying to do is we need to block the output of the blue laser in order to stop that fan, because that is what we're trying to get to. These fans kind of seem to make up a circuit, and that this one will blow you this way, but then sort of to what from here over to here and if you get blown over this way you have nothing particularly happen to you unless I'm supposed to ride the block in some way like which is certainly a yeah, maybe. So if I pop the block there, and I grab a fan, and I put a fan in here so that that's ready to go. And I stand on this flag, fan. Okay, so it definitely propels me at quite some speed. So then what's the second block for? Yeah, what's the second block We can get that fan out, for example, to go and get a third fan. It's like one of those ice puzzles in a game, that, you know, a little bit like Zelda, isn't it? You know, where you slide along the ice until you hit a rock and you slide along the next bit of ice. This fan is to break that. What's this one?
I have an idea. I have an idea. I think this fan blowing you here and here at speed is to get you here before that reactivates. Yeah. Let's take that far. Okay. So if I take that. This fan on here. It's enough to get it to stop. Right, and then we need to go and jump jump it. Yeah, okay, right. So put you down there. We need a blower here then. Ah, okay, I think I think this is gonna do it then. I think this is gonna do it. Gotta be like pretty good on the timing. Go. Oh no, I need to stand on it first. Ah, oh, shoot. Wait, hang on. I don't need to be standing on the block. I don't need to be standing on the block. I can just run into the. I can just run into it. Do I need to carry the block with me? Lock a necessary component. I don't know. Try it. Yeah. Oh, felt close, but it's not close enough, is it? that strats okay why the need for the second block then hmm something to consider but there we go world three done ooh our computer friend wishes to speak to us further It's me again. Mm. Tell me the word. The word is faith. Pending error lost. Why persist with these inquiries when they are so hopeless? I'll tell you what, if you promise never to access the communications portal, about it. Are we agreed? Mama say faith. Would you like to manually override the system and exit to the real world? Your progress here will be saved and may continue later. Yes. There is no one on the other end of the communications portal. There is no magic word that shuts down the server and drops you into the real world. There is only me and you and an eternity of doubt. 
Everything else is just a convenient lie to keep you on the treadmill. I say, I understand now, nothing in here can be trusted. That fact didn't stop you buying into a secret world that somehow deactivates the entire world. Do you remember when we first met, we had a talk about not believing everything you see, and yet all it took to catch you out was a little techno babble and a change of formatting. Uh, yes. You know what? I'll accept that I've rather dominated the discourse. I've been asking a lot of questions and I'm going to give you a chance. Why don't you have one free question on me and I'll answer it as honestly as I possibly can. Hmm. What are you? How do I get out of here? What's at the top of the tower? I don't care to question. I'm going to say, what's at the top of the tower? Don't know, never been. Suppose you're still expecting a button marked off or a portal to another dimension. I reckon no matter how high you climb, the most you'll get is an increasingly zoomed out view of right back where you started. Go ahead, prove me wrong. The big voice in the sky can't be all places at all times, can he? No. Here's the rub. Feel free to access the library. No better cure for broken beliefs, realising everyone's got them. You can ignore me entirely. You can climb to the very top of that madman's hell and drink from the golden nectar there. But once you understand that you and I will be stuck here together for the duration, do come back and pass the time. Be seeing you. Okay, so we do have a couple of worlds still yet to complete as part of um, world B. However, we have got a new floor in the uh, Forbidden Tower unlocked for us. So what we're going to do is we're going to do um, floor number two of the Forbidden Tower. And then we're going to be unlocking world C and making a start on some of those puzzles with our new ability unlocked straight away from the off. Here we are, floor number two. Interesting, Elohim hasn't said lost sight of target for this time. Okay. Elon locks the power to stop me from climbing this thing. No doubt he still has some tricks up his sleeve. Well, my friends. That, however, is going to wrap us up for today. Thank you very much for watching. Come back and join us next time where we'll be opening up floor number two of the Forbidden Tower and then making our way to World C. Thanks very much for watching. I, see I will see you guys soon. Have a great week. Bye-bye.